Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to remove a virus off your Windows 10 laptop computer. It's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and open up an internet browser of your choice. I'm opening up Firefox and once I do, I'm going to go out to my favorite engine, search engine rather, which is Google and start typing the word Malwarebytes and when I do, I can see the word malware bytes and I'm going to click on it and that brings up a list of links that I might be interested in the first one is the one I want malware bytes free anti malware and internet security software and I'm going to click on download malware bytes that brings me to this internet address which is the malware bytes download page for the free version of uh, their program and you're almost there and it gives me two columns free trial and premium I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here and under the free version I'm gonna click on the download because that's the version I want and when I do that within Firefox I get this prompt save file or cancel and of course I want to save it so I'm gonna click on save now it's not downloading um, malware bytes at this point it only is downloading the setup.exe for malware bytes and when I click on the Firefox um, download arrow I see that the um, process is uh, moving along quite quickly here and it's just about done and once it is I can go ahead and uh, click on the setup.exe and when I do that within Windows 10 I get a um, prompt here that asks me basically do I want to allow this program to make changes on my computer and I'm going to say yes because I do want to install uh, malware bytes and then it comes back and I can go ahead and click on OK and accept the English version if you have a different language choose a different language let me go ahead and minimize the um, browser here so we can see this more clearly all right, let's go ahead and uh, start the installation here. And of course, I'm going to agree um, and click on next. And then here's the latest info. And you can scroll down and read if you're interested. And once you've done that, go ahead and click on next again. And I'm going to take the defaults for just about everything here and uh, let Malwarebytes install itself on my computer and I do want a desktop uh, icon which is you know makes it very easy to access Malwarebytes once it's installed on my computer and it doesn't take too long once it's done go ahead and click on finish but before you do go up here and uncheck um, this uh, free trial version because we don't want to install a trial version we just want to install the free version that we don't have to pay for and click on finish or leave the check mark next to the trial version if you're interested in trying it for 30 days at any rate once you click on finish it will create an icon on your desktop and it will also launch automatically the malware bytes anti malware software program and it will automatically go out and check for the latest um, database definitions um, that are available and download them and install them into the um, malware bytes anti malware um, database and this can take a few minutes to a lot of minutes depending on the speed of your internet service as well as the speed and performance of your laptop or your 2-in-1 or your tablet um, whatever at any rate once it's done and it's installed you can go ahead and scan now or before you do that you can go up here and click on settings and this allows you to go ahead and customize the software to your liking and once you have done that you can go up here and click right here and uh, see some additional information like the database uh, version and uh, you know, the, the scan process and uh, the license at any rate once you're finished you can go ahead and click on scan now and that begins the scanning of uh, your computer 
and it goes through several layers of uh, scans to ensure that it's able to discover and remove um, every possible threat that might be on your computer that it's aware of and this can take anywhere from um, a few minutes to you know a few hours actually depending on the uh, speed and performance of your computer or your laptop or your 2-in-1 as well as um, the speed or not the speed actually but the size of your um, hard drive you know how many files you have on there at any rate um, this will take a while and it's scanning pretty fast for me I'm running an Intel Core i3 and uh, it's moving along and I will put this on pause and come back and we'll see the results okay we're back and the time to complete the scan was six minutes and 14 seconds um, the number of items that were scanned were 346,059. Now these numbers will vary on your computer depending on um, a lot of things, basically the configuration and the number of files and the size of your hard drive. Um, also, um, the threats that were identified were zero, which was cool. And I can save the results down here to a text file or clipboard if I want. And if you have some threats that were identified, um, you also see a little, you will see a little um, box here that says show results. And you click on that and that allows you to um, remove those threats off of your computer. So um, that's it for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and click on finish. And that takes me back to the home page of Malwarebytes where if I chose to, I could uh, perform a scan again. At any rate, um, that's it for this tutorial. Subscribe and like my video.